Hello everyone. Last time we found the area of the boundary region uh, doing the integration. That was a good practice of solving equations and doing integrations in Mathematica. But this time I will find the area directly uh, using the area function. Uh, so let's do this. So let's plot these four equations first uh, using contour plot. So write contour plot. And inside contour plot, I will write these four equations. So I have to give a list and inside the list, I will write the equations uh, using double equal sign. So we have y equals to sine twice x, y equals to cos twice x. And then x equals to minus pi by 2. And x equals to pi by 2. So we could not plot x equals to minus pi by 2 using plot function. So this is an advantage of using contour plot. So let's close the curly braces and then we have to specify the range of x and range of y. So the range of x is given. So this is minus 2 to 2 and we have to give a suitable uh, range of y also. So let's take y uh, from minus 2 to 2 and then take the axis and select true. And we'll also use plot legends to see which function is which. So choose expressions. And if you press shift enter now, we'll see these four equations. So the green one is uh, x equals to minus pi by 2. And the red one is x equals to pi by 2. And the orange one is y equals to cos twice x. And the blue one is y equals to sine twice x. So now I will shade the enclosed region. So the enclosed region is bounded on the left by this green line and bounded on the right by the red line. And then we have these two curves and we have to shade this uh, enclosed region by the two curves. Now how can we tell Mathematica that uh, this is our region? So we have to tell Mathematica, we have to describe the regions to Mathematica so that it can give us the area and it can also shade this region. Now if you look at this particular region, this one, in this region the value of y is less than the orange curve. So let's first this add this axis label inside the contour plot. Just add axis label to see the label. You can see the axis label now. Now let's give the condition uh, for our regions. So to do that, you have to use implicit region function. And in, inside the implicit region function, we can describe our region. Uh, so for this region, the value of y is less than the orange curve. And value of y is greater than the blue curve. So if we write uh, y uh, less than cos twice x and y greater than sine twice x, Mathematica will understand that we are talking about that specific region. So let's write y less than uh, cos twice x which is the orange one and you have to give double equal sign here um, and write y greater than sine twice x. And then you have to give a comma and give a list and inside the list we'll have to say that x and y are our variables. So give a comma and inside the list write x comma y. So that's that's how I can uh, describe the particular region to Mathematica. Now to plot this region I will use region plot function. And inside the square bracket, keep this region. And if you press shift enter now, you can see the region I was talking about. So let's see this together. I was talking about this region and I have described this region to Mathematica and plotted this region using the region plot function. Now we can describe the other regions too. 
so we have this other region where y is less than the blue curve and greater than the orange curve and it's also bounded on the right by this line uh, so y is uh, less than uh, blue curve so here y is less than sine twice x and y is greater than cos twice x so to add this region inside implicit region uh, we have to use union sign so in mathematica uh, use double vertical sign double vertical slash to give the union sign this means the union sign and we have to write uh, y greater than cos twice x uh, and y less than sine twice x for the region in the right so what i have written until now is that this left region union this right region but we haven't added any information about the vertical line the x equals to minus pi by 2 and x equals to pi by 2 so our enclosed region is bound on the left by this green line and bound on the right by this red line so you have to add this information also inside the implicit region so just write x from varies from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 as the straight line uh, we can write uh, this information inside this variable thing uh, just inside curly braces write x uh, minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and we will use two curly braces here uh, separately and if we press shift enter now we will be able to see the regions so so this is our total enclosed area uh, by the four equations so i have described the total enclosed region now let's not plot this uh, region using region plot just uh, set a variable region 1 equals to this region so set a variable region 1 equals to this region and give a semicolon at the end and uh, let's write let's set another variable plot 1 equals to that control plot and now I will use the show function and using the show function I will show these two graphs together so use show function and instead show function write plot 1 and always write plot 1 first and then uh, write, write region plot and instead region plot just give the region 1 and then we will be able to see the two graphs together. Just press shift enter. So we can see the uh, equations, uh, four equations and the uh, enclosed region. And we have shaded the enclosed region. So what we have done until now, we have uh, described the region 1 and set, the va set a variable region 1 equals to that region and we also set plot 1 equals to that contour plot which we plotted from minus 2 to 2 and then using show function, uh, we showed these two things together and also we use region plot to plot a region. So we plotted uh, the contour plot from minus 2 to 2. And inside that uh, graph, we have uh, shaded the bounded region. So this is the bounded region. Now I will show you how you can use the area function. So we have already uh, told Mathematica what our region is. So now simply uh, use the area function. Just write area with capital A. And then inside the square bracket, write region 1. Because Mathematica knows what region 1 is. We have described that. So if we keep the region 1 inside area function, um, so this is the region 1. So if we keep the region 1 inside area function and press shift enter, we'll get the area of the enclosed region. So this is the area of this enclosed region. So that's all for now. Thank you for your patience. See you in the next video.